All right, can I just get a confirmation that this is LSD, AKA street name Acid? Here's the thing about Acid. It reveals an identity within us we never dreamed of existing. Maybe that's why many people are scared of Acid. Having to face our true self can be terrifying. But I've learned that self-awareness is the key to a fulfilling life. Which is how I found myself sunburned in the desert on a Tuesday afternoon documenting what was about to be another life-changing spiritual experience. To leading a love-based life. Oof, love -based I life. fucking love that. An unlikely friendship. My first acid trip was during sophomore year of college. I was young and it was nighttime and we were inside a frat house and it was a horrible idea. Acid is serious business and should never be taken without careful preparation. You need to be with experienced people in a safe and open environment, like the beach, or in this case, a beautiful, isolated, bohemian Airbnb in the desert. The biggest thing you can do to combat anxiety and, and like heavy amounts of stress is to ground yourself and to be present. Mm -hmm. That's why yoga and meditation is so powerful because it's forcing you to just like focus on your breath mm -hmm. for however long. I think for me, one of the biggest lessons I've learned in the past couple of months is really practicing self-love. I think that's so important. It's something like I didn't really know about for the long, like pretty much my entire life in this lifetime. If you can't love yourself, then how are you gonna love anyone else? How are you gonna love what you do? Right. How are you gonna love? How are you gonna spread love? Right. You can't. On the ice cold dawn, she handed me an ice blue bomb. How is the camera in low light? Pretty good. <laughs> To leading a love-based life. Leading a love-based life. I fucking love that. An unlikely friendship. Mm. Everything we know, we have been taught or told about. Babies don't know the difference between gay or straight, black or white. Babies are just happy to see the world as it is. Acid simply brings us back to that state of pureness, vulnerability, and ecstasy. Acid makes us forget how corrupted we are by society. We are told what is real and what isn't, what's important and what isn't, how to behave, what is accepted, how to think, what the norms are, and most importantly, what we are. As this process goes on, year after year, we slowly come down from that original, natural, tripping state that we were born with. And when it's all gone, we become a conditioned, brainwashed robot, and society calls that a rational, mature adult. Acid reminds us that we have the power to break free from the system, to improve our lives, and to make the world a better place. It's impossible to describe this sacred experience to anyone who's never done it, but if I must, I would say that every acid trip is like a conversation with God.